What's up everyone, my name is Xtech and today is May 31st, 2021. In today's video, I wanted to present some data I collected from spending 100 condensed resins while farming in the Pale Flame Millilift domain at max level. Uh, for transparency's sake, I did all of these in co-op around AR45-49 to 49, the week before EULA was released. Now a disclaimer here is that I have not seriously touched mathematically driven statistics since high school, so I will mostly present the categorized and aggregate data from my runs and present a few hypotheses here and there, but to keep this video digestible, I have not done any rigorous statistical analysis on what the results may mean. I also wanted to note that I only recorded the main stats for the most part. So let's dive right in. First of all, let's look at the totals. From spending 106 condensed resins, we got a total of 232 artifacts that were legendary. Uh, I got mostly two legendary artifacts each run, sometimes three and never four. Based on the sample size, it looks like there is about 18.8 .8 or roughly 20% chance of getting an extra legendary artifact per condensed resin. Additionally, I would have thought that it would be closer to a 50-50 split for each artifact set dropping, but it seems to be slightly skewed towards the Millilift set. This may or may not be due to my sample size, but uh, I don't have enough knowledge to answer that question. Next, let's take a look at the Flowers and Feathers. There's not a whole lot to say about these guys since the main stats are locked, but I noticed it was a lot easier to get the double crit lines on Feathers than uh, on Flowers. Perhaps this is because the Feathers have attack as a main stat, so the substats may be more offensively uh, geared, but we can't draw any hard conclusions here. Now let's look at goblets next, since this is anecdotally one of the hardest items to farm. It seems to me that there is approximately a 1 4th chance of getting an attack, defense, HP, or elemental cup. And it seems that the elemental cups are likely completely randomly distributed, so no wonder it's so hard to get a specific elemental cup. You have to hit the 25% chance of not being attack, defense, or HP, and then you have to hit the 1 in 7th chance of being the right element that you're looking for. Lastly, let's take a look at the Sands and Hat main stats. I'm not sure what to make of my Sands data since the attack percent uh, main stat drop seems to be absurdly low. Unlike the Goblet, it may be that the likelihood of getting any specific stat is not evenly distributed. Hats look more evenly distributed, however, although again, defense was the most dropped. We always hear about other people getting unlucky or lucky with artifact farming, so I wanted to get some data to see whether the drops in terms of sets, specific pieces, and stats are evenly distributed. Uh, feel free to look at the data and see if you can draw your own conclusions, or maybe we could get together and start a spreadsheet to collect a larger, larger sample size. Thanks for watching. My name's Xtac, and if you enjoyed this video and found it informative, useful, or even mildly interesting, please like and subscribe.